Colonial Life by Jasmine Lyon. I live in Boston, a really big town. It's not that hard to get around. 28 year old woman, that's who I am. Now it's time for me to take a stand. That man, that man, oh, he irritates me. That man is coming towards you, see? Big down, big place, people everywhere. Over the hilltops of my house is there. I am an apothecary in these times. Women stay at home and learn how to cook and clean and have children. Except me, Marcy. I have tricked the teachers that taught me my job and told them I was a man named James, put on my husband's clothing, and went to learn the age of medicine. I was educated in all the latest herbal medicines, but also had enough general knowledge that I could offer medical treatment. I tried to help most of the wounded people from the Boston Massacre, but some others were gone before I could help. My family is big and are a medium of a sort. When we discuss King George, you believe he is a man of horse. Quincy, Lucy, Felicity, and George, it's a letter from your father at war. Oh, Peter, my dear sweet Peter, how you help others protect Lucy, Felicity, and all of your mothers. I want peace, and only peace. A repeat of the Boston Massacre is what none of us want. We want our demands. England. Sooner or later, they'll stop taxes on everything. We want things to go back the way they were. And that is what we want. That is our demands. We shall now all take a stand. One day, one day, Boston had the right to govern themselves. And you all shall be free. That right there is a shot straight for me. The king shall rule no more. King George will be thrown off his pedestal. Patriots say King George is not a ruler. He has a way of life that needs to be wasted. The boss at Boston Harbor, the teams of the ocean had tasted. Gladly enough. Gladly enough. Here. In Boston, life is tough. Shall you hear my prayers, my hopes, to change the world for all females, my future, so that my children grow up and follow in our footsteps. My dream is to be the most magnificent female doctor. The things I deserve besides freedom and independence to be heard is for people who know the cause of the